おはようございます。こんにちは。こんばんは。Good morning, good afternoon, good evening.、Uh, welcome to the night for a video. Today we're going to talk about advanced sharpening, including a process called hot rotting. Basically, hot rotting a knife means to thin out the bevel. So, as you sharpen your knife, the edge will be shortened by millimeters by millimeters. And if it reaches to that is somewhere around this point or even down here, the knife will get very, very thick. And what the thicker knife does, when you try to cut the carrots, potatoes, yams, those root vegetables, it will snap right in half or break them while you try to cut them. Therefore, we will like to thin this whole bevel down. There are two different types of the、uh, Japanese knives, or not necessarily, but、uh, construction wise. Ones like these guys, this particular knife is Fujiwara san's Nashiji line. What you can see is that there is a、uh, bevel line starts right here. This we call it the Shinogi line. From here, this bevel is we call it the Kireha. And there is another bevel actually at the end, we call it Koba or the micro bevel. The first video that you watch for how to sharpen knives that we focus on sharpen the koba. There's another type, something like this knife here. There's no clear shinogi line or clear、uh, kireha. What happens is that the, they have been sharpened from the spine to the、uh, koba all the way down. Do they need hot rotting? For sure. Because as you keep sharpening the edge, the edge will become very thick. But the problem is, there is no clear kireha to it, so that it makes it a little bit more challenging to thin out the blade. Today, I'm gonna sharpen a, the one with the clear kireha and a shinogi on it. So instead of raising the bevel like this for 15 degrees for the, at the previous videos, I go pretty flat on the stone. In order to thin out the whole bevel. What I will be looking for is to thin out enough so that the,、uh, the exposed the core steel as well as this a、uh, shinogi or the kireha becomes very even. What I'm looking for here is the、uh, consistency in terms of the grind here. I want to have this、uh, shinogi line pretty clear, although this,、uh, this knife is a little bit more difficult because the clear、um, shinogi line is usually a little bit of wavy.、Uh, but I want to have this whole kireha part nice and,、uh, nice and even. So, ideally, you don't want to see any of the micro bevels that is being put on. The、uh, previous sharpening. You want to thin out as,、uh, as much as you can. Now I am pretty, this knife's got a pretty even bevel line here. I'm going to move to the、uh, next side. There are several ways that people sharpen a,、uh, on the back side.、Uh, when I'm hot rotting, I do actually switch hand. Unlike the,、uh, the previous video on how to sharpen knives, Um, I always kept my knives on my、um, dominant hand, which is on my right.、Uh, when I hot rod, I would actually、uh, switch my hand. The bevel looks better. I just want to point out、uh, one thing right here. As you can see, This is where it's been touched on this、uh, stone here, and this, this section here had not touched. The reason being is that the, uh, this uh, knife maker he likes to make、uh, the kireha a little bit more、uh, convex than the straight、um, bevel, so the,、uh, there is a little bit different angle going on. So, what I would like to see is to、uh, Even those out as well. So, I'm actually gonna sharpen this part a little bit lower than the,、uh, this part of the、uh, kereha.
I often use my fingers to actually see how thin that bevel end edge is, like doing like this way. Um, you kind of, if there is still a little bit of thickness left, you can feel that the finger kind of jumps and comes back. Now I've sharpened the uh, both sides with the uh, 220 grit. Um, the bevel looks pretty nice and even from both ends. I made it the uh, edge really nice and thin. Uh, important thing about the uh, 220 stone here is this is your uh, first stone that you want to uh, hot rod because it will need to grind quite a bit of metal off. Also, this is the base stone. If you don't make your knife thin enough, with the uh, 220 grit stone, it will take a lot longer and you have to sometimes go back uh, to 220 stone uh, to finish hot rotting or thinning. Now I move to the uh, 1000 grit to uh, keep uh, polishing. So what this 1000 grit does, from this on you are not really thinning your knife per se, but because you left quite deep scratches on uh, the blade, uh, you are to polish out this uh, deep scratches with the uh, stones ahead. Do the pretty much the same with the, the very flat on the bevel. Sometimes to change the angle to uh, touch all the bevel part that needs. So what I'm looking for at this 1000 grit stage is that the I sharpen them until I don't see any deep scratches that's been made by a uh, 220 grit. Again, evenness and consistency is the uh, key and uh, that's, uh, that's what I'm looking for. So this is the side that I'm done with the 1000 grit stone here. So I'm going to sharpen the, uh, the other side. So we thin out the blade enough so that the, when you're cutting a, a root vegetable and such, you don't feel that much of a resistance. So you don't really have to make this bevel um, nice and polished. If you want to, you can definitely uh, bring it up to a uh, 4,000 grits um, or 8,000 grit for some people to uh, polish this uh, bevel up into a mirror almost. What I would do is the uh, try to make the uh, this knife uh, kasumi finish. Kasumi in Jap Japanese is uh, haze. So you can see this bevel is a little bit hazy right now. What I would do is to make this uh, bevel hazy or leave this or keep this bevel hazy, but at the same time, I will make the uh, this core steel polished. In order to do this, I will use this uh, 4000 knife or 4000 grit and I try to just work on the uh, hagane or the uh, the core steel part. A little bit of trick when I uh, was sharpening or the actually sharpening whole bevel is that I was intentionally making this bevel slightly convex so when I put the uh, pressure just on the edge here only part that touches on this stone is the uh, this exposed carbon steel bar. That's why when you do this, you start to see just the uh, the core steel part start to polish it up. So this, as you can see. The uh, core steel got polished up very nicely, but the uh, outside layer keeps it its haze or the kasumi finish. You could definitely again go up to a 8000 grit if you like to, but this is uh, purely aesthetic, so you don't really have to uh, do it. Now you know how to hot rod and what the hot rod means. To finish your edge, check out our how to sharpen video. There is a link in the description below. Thanks for watching.